Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology. Once again we are back, continuing the placement of planets this time. Okay, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to it and click in the notification so that you getting the up, uh, keep getting the updates when I upload the videos, okay? And before we begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and He will be right there, okay? Do not fear. So, in the last video, we discussed about the house lords. How, as I keep moving the pointer, you will keep seeing it. How this is the first house ruled by Jupiter because the sign number 9 is there. Don't take this as the first house, uh, as the ninth house. Sorry, this is the first house. And this has the sign number 9, which means the first house is ruled by Jupiter because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Second house is ruled by Saturn, third house Saturn. Then fourth house is having the sign number 12, which is the sign Pisces. So fourth house is also ruled by Jupiter. Then the fifth house is ruled by Mars because number 1 represents Aries then sixth house represents Venus because number two is Taurus number three which is in the seventh house is the sign of Gemini so seventh Lord is Mercury the ruler of the seventh house okay then number eighth house has the sign of Cancer number four which means moon is the ruler of Cancer so moon is ruling the eighth house Number 5 is Leo. So the ninth house, which is this house actually. It is not this house. This is the first house. If you go counterclockwise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the ninth house having the sign number 5, which is Leo. Okay. This house will always be the ninth house, irrespective of whichever number is there. Similarly, this house will always be the tenth house, which is having number 6 which means mercury is the ruler of this house which is coincidentally also sitting there we will we will come to that later and then 11th house is this house which is having the sign libra number seven so 11th lord is venus then the 12th house is having the sign number eight scorpio and it is ruled by mars so very quickly again Jupiter rules the first fourth house, Mercury rules the seventh and tenth, Saturn rules the second and the third, Mars rules the fifth and the twelfth, Venus rules the sixth and the eleventh, and Moon rules the eighth house and Sun rules the ninth house. Okay, now we discussed earlier about the lords of the houses okay now we have also seen the summary now we will see where are these planets placed okay now what did i just say lord of the first house and lord of the fourth house is jupiter okay so you have to see which house is jupiter placed and in which sign so jupiter is placed here right so you count from here anti clockwise this is the first house always remember this uh, this quadrant which you see this is rectangle or square whatever you call it the angular houses this is always the first house okay so whenever you count houses <coughs> sorry in astrology you include that house okay and from there you go anti-clockwise okay so you count we see jupiter is here okay we don't know which house this is okay let's start from here this is the first house then this is the second house, this is the third house, this is the fourth house, this is the fifth house, this is the sixth house, this is the seventh house, this is the eighth house, okay? So Jupiter is not in the fourth house, Jupiter is in the eighth house because this triangle always will be the eighth house, okay? And it is in sign number four, which is what? The sign of cancer, it's exaltation. So Jupiter is exalted in this chart, okay? In the eighth house, okay? So we will say the Lagnesh or the Lagna Lord or Lord of the Ascendant, the first house and Lord of the fourth house is in the eighth house in its exaltation sign of Cancer. We do not know the degrees here, but I'm just explaining without the degrees. Okay. So what will we say? Ascendant Lord 
ascendant is the first house as you know if you have not watched the videos on ascendant and lord and the houses and general discussion description of the zodiac signs then please go back to my playlist and watch the initial videos otherwise you will not understand what i am speaking here okay so we will say lord of the first house and the fourth house is in the eighth house in the number four sign zodiac which is cancer okay this is not the fourth house again i am saying this triangle is the eighth house okay now where is the second and third lord placed second and third lord will be same because second house and third house are both ruled by saturn because capricorn is number 10 and aquarius is number 11 which is ruled by saturn where is saturn placed saturn is placed here so you count first house second house third house fourth house okay so second lord is in the fourth house third lord is also in the fourth house okay then fourth lord we already saw first and fourth lord is jupiter sitting in the eighth house okay so second and third lord is sitting in the fourth house saturn okay in the sign of number 12 which is pisces so we will say saturn ruling the second and the third is sitting in the fourth house in the sign of pisces with venus and neptune okay jupiter is sitting alone here forget about venus and neptune now but i am just saying ruler of the second and third is in the fourth house in the sign of pisces okay now fourth house we already discussed now come to number five this house that you see okay fifth house is ruled by number one which is aries which is ruled by mars okay so where is mars placed mars is placed here so you count one two three four five six seven so this is seven okay seventh house house number seven don't confuse it's not house number three it is house number seven it is sign number three which is gemini so what we will say the sixth lord is sitting in the uh, sorry the ruler of the fifth house the fifth lord which is this house ruler mars is sitting in the seventh house in the sign of gemini number three zodiac okay similarly sixth house this is the sixth house right this triangle is having the sign number two so it is venus okay so where is venus placed venus is placed here so you count one two three four okay again so we will say ruler of the sixth house is venus placed in the fourth house in pisces in its exaltation because pisces is the sign where venus gets exalted okay again first house fourth house ruler jupiter in the eighth second house third house ruler saturn in the fourth in pisces fifth lord in the seventh sixth lord in the fourth okay now we come to the seventh house who is the ruler of the seventh house don't see mars see see the sign here sign is number three which is gemini gemini is ruled by mercury mercury is placed here so come let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so mercury is placed in the sign of virgo because it is number six so mercury is in the tenth house okay this is the house number ten and this is the sign number six which is sign number six it is virgo right so we will say mercury is placed in the tenth house in its exaltation sign in virgo because virgo is the sign where mercury gets exalted if you do not know what is exalted then please watch the earlier video on exaltation you will understand okay now come to the eighth house eighth house undoubtedly has jupiter sitting in it but we have to see where the lord is placed for that we need the sign number okay number four is moon okay because number four is cancer ruled by moon where is moon place moon is placed here yes with uranus in the sign number two taurus in its exaltation so let's count one two three four five six so moon is in the sixth house so eighth house lord the planet ruling the eighth house is sitting in the sixth house in the sign of taurus which is its exaltation sign what about the ninth house this triangle ninth house is empty it has no planet but where is the ruler of the house sitting ruler is number five which is leo leo is ruled by yes you are right leo is ruled by the sun sun is placed in this house so let's count one two three four 
5. So sun is placed in the fifth house in the sign of Aries in its exaltation. Okay. So what we will say ninth lord is in the fifth house in exaltation in the sign of Aries. Now who is the tenth lord? Tenth lord itself is Mercury because number six is Virgo ruled by Mercury and Mercury is sitting here itself. So we will say Mercury is sitting in the 10th house itself. The ruler of the 10th is sitting in the 10th house itself. Okay. Which is fabulous. And Mercury gets exalted in Virgo. So 10th Lord is sitting in, in Virgo in its own house in its exaltation. Mercury. Similarly, 11th house has Ketu in it. Okay. So number 7 is the sign of Libra which is ruled by Venus. And where is Venus placed? In this house. Okay. So we will say 1, 2, 3, 4. 11th Lord, Lord of the house, which is number 11, is sitting in the 4th house. Okay. In the sign of Pisces in its exaltation. Because Venus gets exalted in Pisces. Again, I am saying. Now, last house is the 12th house having Pluto. But where is the Lord? For that, we have to check the sign number. Number 8. 8 is Scorpio, which is ruled by Mars. So, where is Mars sitting? Mars is sitting here. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, Mars is sitting in the 7th house in the number 3 sign, which is Gemini. This is not the 3rd house. This is the 7th house. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 12th Lord is sitting in the 7th house in Gemini. So, quick recap. Lord of the 1st and 4th is Jupiter in the 8th house in Cancer. Lord of the 2nd and 3rd is Saturn in the sign of Pisces in the 4th house. Lord of the 5th and the 12th is sitting in the 7th house Mars in the sign of Gemini. Then Lord of the 6th and 11th is Venus sitting in the 4th house in Pisces in Exaltation. Then Lord of the 7th house and the 10th house, Mercury, is sitting in the 10th house itself in its exaltation in Virgo. Lord of the 8th house is Moon sitting in its exaltation sign in Taurus in the 6th house. Lord of the sign which is in 9th house, Leo, is the Sun which is sitting in the 5th house in Aries in its exaltation. Okay. And that's it. We have covered all houses. And thus we have seen which houses are the planets sitting. Okay. So that's it for my side. If you have any questions, queries and comments, then please let me know and share this video with everybody else, with your family and friends and relatives and spread the divine knowledge of astrology everywhere so that people can get enlightened and understand themselves by knowing their charts. Okay. Until next time. Bye-bye. See you.